Yes. That is hilarious. <laughs> Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. Okay, the first thing I'm going to look at here is this guy. Yes. His movements are great. Maybe some meat and bones. That is hilarious. He is very cool. I love his movements. Awesome. All right. Then, of course, we got this guy in the cage. Let's see if we can find the button for him. That's always a cool one right there. He is super loud. Hanging skeletons. These are, should be five feet for $45. The prices seem to be pretty, ooh. My gosh, there's so many things going off right now that it is just a little bit uh, overwhelming. Usually the skeletons at Party City and Halloween City don't have any lights or anything, and they're about $50 a piece, but this is 45 and he talks and lights up. That is awesome. Here's the big pumpkin man right here we saw the other day. I think he's already talking. I see his hands lighting up. He doesn't really do much other than just talk and kind of stand there. But here's the nice witch. We saw this witch too the other day. She is cool. <laughs> that was for spell. C A T spells cat. That is hilarious. This guy, I think we pressed the button on last time and he just lit up, but I don't see a button for him, so maybe he doesn't light up. She is $30. He's $30 as well. He should light up for $30, but I don't see. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, yes. Yes. I always like the style of Target's Halloween stuff. It's very cartoonish, very kid-friendly. He is very cool. Let's go around the corner here and see what they got behind him. This guy, same stuff we saw yesterday. Nothing that I haven't seen yet. <laughs> I do like that. That is a funny quote. This is the light-up girl right there. Ooh, nice and loud this time, too. I like that one. That would be good to have in your house if you had, like, a party. Nice green and purple colors there. And this one, I don't know if I saw this one last time. Ghoul with candor, candor, candelabra, candelabra, oh my gosh. That was hard to say. Look, it's, like, kind of in his chest. I wonder if it's going to float around. I'm going to try to bend his arm away so we can see what it's doing. Oh, it just lights up. He has a light in there, but I don't see a face or anything. Oh, yes, there it goes. Up and down like it's floating. Kind of cool. We didn't see that one the other day, and that is $45. I like that skeleton guy right there. $30 for him. Here's the ghost popping up from the grave. Same stuff that we saw the other day. I'm kind of surprised that these stores aren't setting up a little bit better. Maybe they're still uh, in the early stages of setting up. All the skeleton people here. Look at this skeleton shark. That's pretty cool. $20 for the skeleton shark. I like that. I just watched Jaws the other day. That was a good movie. Here's that street sign that we saw, but we didn't get to see uh, what it did because it wasn't plugged in last time. But this is plugged in and it looks like it just lights up. So that would be a cool prop to just kind of put in your house or somewhere outside on your porch or something. I like this guy right here. He's the floating ghost. He goes from, I think, three feet to five feet, maybe? Yeah, three to five. Oh, he's not plugged in. What? That is too bad because he is very cool. Well, we saw him last time anyways. Lots of little pumpkins here. Pretty cool pumpkins. There's a Dracula pumpkin down there. Uh, here's a crystal ball. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. It changes colors and it's got some like swirly glitter in there. 
That is cool. That would be a nice one to put on like your fireplace mantle or something. And right here we have all the sitting props that are uh, like blow molds that light up. This one I don't think we saw. Oh yeah, we did. That was the heavy one. This one is heavy enough to be like a door stopper. And I like how that lights up. Wow. That is a nice green. This guy's one of my favorites. I like that. The mummy. You don't see a lot of mummy stuff anymore these days. Here's the cat. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have to put him, like, forward, I guess, because his head goes all the way each way. That is a funny cat. Here's another one back here, another uh, blow mold tombstone or whatever you call that thing with the pumpkin on top. These light up really nice. I do like those. And this guy right here, haunted house with the witch and the moon and a couple of skeletons traveling along the sidewalk. It looks like these are $25 a piece, which is actually... Not too bad. I like that one a lot. I would consider getting that one as a door stopper. Here's one up here. Nice uh, pumpkin man, but uh, here's a button. That one's uh, it's lighting up, but not quite as good as these ones do. Here's the gargoyle right here. Let's see if we can get him going. Yes. He is funny, and here's the enchanted witch tombstone that lights up greens turn this loud guy off everything here is pretty loud which is usually good i like the lights on that very nice how the lights come up and really make her face look spooky and then a couple of the gnomes those are real simple their eyes just light up this guy i think we saw him last time he doesn't dance but he lights up and says some quotes $35 for that one, and I think I see one down here that we didn't see last time. It says, Welcome, mortals. Oh, yeah, we did see that last time. Laugh and scream and have a happy Halloween. <laughs> lots more things down this aisle. Lots of cool. Ooh, look at this. There's a cauldron that I don't think I've seen before. Let's see here. Can we get it to work? I don't know. It says, uh, Cauldron Mister. So I think you put some water in there, and then, uh, it'll, like, mist and make it look like the cauldron is bubbling and misting. Some more cats, the phones. Hello, you privileged us after hours, and we're out trick-or-treating. <laughs> $10 oh, for the phone. Again. We saw that one last year. That is a cool one. Here's a skeleton on the bike. All the stuff that we saw last time Happy Halloween. I guess that one's not gonna work actually I think last year these did have an issue working I think they were like pretty problematic that one's working let's turn them around here see the pumpkins there he is that's a cute one kind of surprised that they don't have everything set up a little bit better Ooh, that's nice <laughs> the cat on the inside. That's cool. I do like that one. I don't think we saw that one last time. Here's the uh, ghosts flying around a cauldron. And the skeletons going in and out of the uh, crypts or whatever you call that at the cemetery. Those are some cool little props there that move around and make some noises. Here's the talking pumpkin. And this light, we have not gotten to see working yet, and they do not have it plugged in. Last year, they had a nice big section out here where everything was nice and set up to where you could come and look at everything and press all the buttons. I wonder why they haven't done that this year yet. Here's a nice wooden hanging skeleton. I like that one. That's a cool thing that you could hang on your porch. I don't know if we've seen this one before. Ooh. That is too funny. Dancing skeletons, that is $35 hairs. A little bit pricey, but very cool. They do have some pumpkin carving kits here, and I do need a pumpkin carving kit. I think I'll wait and get one somewhere else. But they've got some nice little cute push-in kits here of different characters where you just push the little pieces in uh, and then paint your pumpkin. But they also have this right here, the carving pack for $15. And it comes with this that you put on your drill 
and that spins around with the drill and is really easy to uh, get all the guts carved out and hollowed. So that is pretty cool. That's a good uh, tool to have for your pumpkin carving. They also have a My Little Pony push-in pumpkin kit right there. That's what it looks like when it's done. And you've got Jack Skellington. That's a cool one. And Sally, his girlfriend. And here's a uh, Disney princess. Uh, what do you call that thing? It's the uh, Cinderella's Carriage. That's funny. Here's some more little blow molds and things. Let's see what these, they probably just light up. Yes, that's cute. Some little cute light up blow molds there. Pretty cool stuff. Last year, I feel like they did a lot better. Oh, look at that. I can't wait to press the button on the ghost. Let's see what this guy does. I think he's the LED. Yes, that is cool. Let's see what the ghost does. <laughs> I like that. That's probably my favorite thing here. Here's another talking pumpkin like the one from the other aisle, but a little bit bigger of a mouth. Ooh, I think you put the candy in there. Time. Yes. That is hilarious. I love it. I like that. These two things are my favorite things here. And these are, looks like $25 a piece. That's actually not bad. This is cool. Here's a hide and eek bowling set with uh, like mummy bowling pins. That's cool. I like that little cool little game. If you're going to have like a Halloween party, they have multiple games here. Here's a web splat. So you throw like some sticky spiders at this pumpkin bean bag toss. You toss the bean bags into the little holes there and get different points for which one that you get the bean bag into. And they have all these little party favors. If you're going to have a Halloween party, there's plenty of cool things here. Vampire fangs. Those are always my favorite to get in the party favor bags. Some fingers, little witch fingers, slime. That's cool. Little uh, containers of slime. All right. And these are like three dollars one dollar not too bad prices for these these are some little gooey like oh, what are they i thought they were skeletons but they're bugs oh spiders that's funny little gooey spiders plenty of halloween candy let's see if we can find some cool halloween themed candies here i do like these fun fetty halloween themed cupcake packs there if you're gonna have a halloween party these are definitely what you want here's some green ones those are the ones that i like and here's uh, some pumpkin cake stuff Ooh, that'd be good probably some cream cheese icing on that little packs of spooky cookies i like the jack-o-lantern here's some mummies all right Ooh, check this out i've been waiting to find this it's the great pumpkin charlie brown cereal that is awesome. It has little great pumpkins in there. Vanilla flavored cereal with marshmallows. That is awesome. I love when they break this stuff out. I made a short about these not too long ago and somebody asked me how much they were. They are $7 for the jack-o'-lantern cheese balls. They're just regular cheese balls, but in a jack-o'-lantern container. They have all kinds of green candies here. Here's the ghoulish green Twix with the green insides. We've got Franken Cup peanut butter Reese's. Those are cool. Half of it is green. There's another one, Snickers, right here. I like that they're doing that. I love the Halloween themed candy. Kit Kats. There's some green Kit Kats. Awesome. Cookies and cream fangs. That is funny. Look at that. You can't really see it too well, but the uh, chocolate bar has some fangs on it. So you can put the chocolate bar up to your mouth and pretend like you have fangs. Of course, Reese's always breaks out the jack-o'-lantern cups. I feel like these are even better than the regular Reese's. I love those. Here's some regular Sour Patch Kids right here. Uh, oh, these are the big ones. Wow, those are cool. But they come in single packs, it looks like, and they're the big ones. But what I've been looking for are the green apple ones. I think they have some green apple uh, Sour Patch Kids somewhere, but I have not been able to find them yet. Is that what this is? Lollipop and Dip. No, that's not the one I'm looking for, but that's pretty cool. It's new. All right, here's a whole cart full of different Halloween-themed cereals. Look at this. Apple Jacks, that is awesome. That is wild, look at that. One eye, sharp teeth, that is cool. Spooky marshmallows, ghosts and bats and uh, monsters and things. And the Fruit Loops right there. I love the spooky cereals. That's kind of the same artwork right there. That's kind of lazy, but whatever. <laughs> I pointed these out at the last store too. Tosillo's Original Spooky Pumpkins. They're just regular chips, but they're shaped like pumpkins. That would be great for a Halloween party.